Female orcas matter more to their pods because orca societies are strongly matriarchal. This social structure means that daughters, mothers, and especially grandmothers hold the most important and influential roles. An orca calf stays with its mother for life, so the entire family structure is built around these stable and enduring female lines. These females are the primary teachers, passing down crucial hunting techniques, complex migration routes and other survival strategies that males simply do not teach. Researchers have found that older females, especially those past menopause, act as the pod's knowledge keepers, guiding their families to food during difficult years when salmon is scarce. Pods with a living grandmother have significantly higher survival rates, proving just how valuable these older females are. Female orcas also coordinate group hunting with remarkable precision. Many of the complex strategies orcas are famous for, like wave-washing seals off ice or trapping fish in tight bait balls, are led by experienced females. Their leadership keeps the pod organized, ensures success and reduces the risk of injury during hunts. Males, particularly adult sons, benefit the most from this female guidance. Without their mothers or grandmothers, male orcas have a much higher chance of dying early because they depend on the pod for food, navigation and protection from threats. Females, on the other hand, are independent, strategic and absolutely essential to keeping the pod stable and thriving. In short, the entire orca society depends on the strength, knowledge and leadership of its females. Enjoyed this? Like and subscribe for more Ocean Stories.